for a great way to beat the heat on a summer day, John Wade has the coolest hobby. John got into ice sculpting after learning the tricks of the trade from two Winnipeg competitive carvers. Between those two, uh, kicking me around for 25 years, I learned a humongous amount when it came to art and appreciation and eye for detail or that's not good enough, do it again, you know, kind of attitude. And it's not practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice makes perfect. After one of his mentors retired, he was able to purchase his very own block maker. And that's where the process all begins. The block freeze is so clear, you can't even see it. Once the ice is removed from the block maker, John follows his stencil plan. Wielding the chainsaw like a scalpel, he removes the excess ice from the block, making sure not to create cracks. But if that does happen, it doesn't mean a failed attempt. Oh well, I guess as an art form, all your mistakes melt off. <laughs> After a rough cut process, you can see the soon-to-be conversation starter taking shape. It's like sitting in the backyard watching an open fire. And you'll sit there, you'll have your conversation, your party's going on, but you'll watch the fire. I noticed that about ice sculptures. That people go, wow, that's really cool. Once light enough, it's placed on a lift and raised to a more workable height. Next, he switches tools. Using his knowledge and creativity, John concentrates on the delicate details to make this sculpture of an eagle come to life. It comes and goes in the winter months and stuff. It, I seem to be more popular. I, in the summer months is when I restructure what I learned through the winter because this is a studio and it's always changing. I'm willing to share this knowledge with people. Um, I've tried recruiting students and things like that along the way and they come and they realize that it's really hard work and they don't want to do it. <laughs> this process took under an hour, but the time put in depends on the level of detail and size of a sculpture. John's taken on all challenges big and small, but reminds people he is constantly learning this labor of love. It just looks beautiful, and you put a couple of different fluctuating lights on it, and it just acts like prisms. And even though your artwork only lasts a few hours, your next canvas, or block, is already freezing. For Shaw TV's Go, I'm Blair Malstravich.